Hello and welcome back to another Trendy Tuesday for today. In honor of National Bikini Day this week, I'm actually talking about all things swimsuits and it doesn't have to be the itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. <laughs> we are, we're just going to talk about all sorts of swimsuit trends for this year and what I'm seeing when it comes to fashion bloggers as well as in magazines and I've got some fun trends for you to incorporate for your new swimwear. My first trend is actually less is more. We are seeing the rise of the rise on our swimsuit bottoms. So I wanted to show you a pair of high rise bikini bottoms. These ones I actually found last summer as Victoria's Secret was getting done having their swimwear. It was like heartbreaking to me that they don't carry swimwear anymore. Anyway, so I snagged these and a couple different colors. They're nice, they come up to my natural waistline. This one's kind of fun because it has a little bit of a peep in the back here so it's still incorporating like a little bit of a sexiness to it has a nice great like line on the leg but i've been loving the high rise on swimsuit bottoms because i feel like i can actually do more last summer we had my nephews over and we were playing around in the pool and i felt like i could actually you know bend over pick them up play with them in the pool and not worry about things coming unhinged so to speak so higher rises are actually on the rise for our swimsuits the next trend I'm seeing is actually a homage to an older trend of scallops. So this one has just a tiny little scallop all over the, the bikini top here, tiny little ruffles all the way around, but I'm also seeing them in like a wider scallop as well. And again, we're seeing this in one pieces, two pieces, wherever you can. Um, and again, this is a style that might speak to your style type. If not, no worries, leave it all alone. What's funny is I've actually had this one for a number of years now, so I don't know if I bought it before the trend came out or, or whatever, but again, my whole message is to always try and find things that speak to your style type within your budget, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and buy everything new. But I found this one a long time ago, and then it, again, it has a little bit of the scallops on the bottoms as well, so that's always fun for me. Trend number three, and I don't know if this is something that's just happened because of all the ruffles and the things that we're seeing in our regular daily wear, whether it's ruffles or off the shoulder, but we're kind of seeing the ruffles off the shoulders in our swimsuits as well. So this guy is a little off the shoulder one strap guy, and it's really fun because it's got a little bit more coverage again on bottom, again, going back to the less is more idea. And um, so this one I found actually at Target, you can find, find great little pieces like that. You could wear this with one of the swimsuit bottoms you already have, or with a high rise to have a little bit more coverage. I liked this one as well as this fun printed option as well. And this one would be a fun little print to mix prints. So let's say you have a striped bikini bottom, you could match the floral with the stripes for a little play on pattern. If you haven't learned how to mix prints and patterns yet, head back to one of my previous videos where I talked about how to mix prints. But what's great about this little one shoulder one is you can wear it up higher on the shoulder or kind of down as like an off the shoulder piece as well. So just see what you feel more comfortable in. All right, the last little trend that I'm seeing the rise of is again, less is more with our one pieces or what I call the sexy one piece. I know I kind of shied away from one pieces until I got a little bit older into my life and then I realized like, you know what? One pieces can A, still be sexy, but B, a lot more comfortable because you can do more things in them and not have to worry about stuff falling out. I grabbed this guy because it's got a fun kind of sexy cutout to it. What's great about this one is you can even wear it just as a normal halter. You don't have to do the crisscross. Found this guy actually at Nordstrom, so it was a little bit more of an investment piece, but it um, fits my long torso. I have a really long torso, so one pieces can be kind of hard in that regard, or if you're tall, they can still be a little bit more frustrating to find, so you might have to try on a bunch. And I've also been seeing the rise of stripes, both in one pieces as well as bikinis themselves. But something like this is kind of fun. It elongates the figure because of the vertical, or yes, vertical, did I get that right? Stripes going up and down. And it kind of has that little sexy cutout in the back. It's got the low cutout so you can still feel like you're showing a little bit of skin without bearing it all, <laughs> bearing it all. And what's been fun too with swimsuits, especially one pieces, is kind of treating it like a top. So you could wear this to the beach or the pool and then throw on your denim shorts over it and it looks like a little kind of one piece shirt underneath or a bodysuit underneath your denim shorts or whatever your bottom half has on. 
Well, I hope you love today's Trendy Tuesday video with swimsuits, bikinis, whatever your need for your pool day is, we've got you covered. Make sure you stay safe while you're at the water this, this summer and wear that sunscreen so you don't get burned. If you liked today's video, leave a comment or question in the box below so that way I can feature your question on an upcoming style video. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out last week's video over here. And if you're liking these, be sure to hit the subscribe button over here as well. With Style and Grace, I'm Deidre. Mwah!